the counties, because it's about a quarter of the road, but I do get my mail in the city of UPS Coral uh, up there on the north edge of town. Uh, so I want to get some of y'all out the boat eventually. And we have an outing coming up February 2nd from Truthville Boat Ramp down to USA 4. It's going to be a nice day on the river. I hope some of you will join us. I'll send you the invitation. And this coming summer, June, starting June 14th, 300 of our closest friends, which we hope will include you, will be boating from Truthville Boat Ramp, not just to USA 4, but all the way to the Somali. We're going to turn right all the way down to Brown for five days on the river. And don't worry, you don't have to load you here. They do that. They carry cars out there, buses, they carry you back, they got places to stay, they cater meals. So maybe you'd like that. Yeah. And I'd like to commend the uh, utility director Daryl Hughes for all the recent work for improving the water system in addition to what you've already done. Uh, we have seen there is still room for improvement. The specific thing I would like to mention is there is always an interesting time finding out what happened. And it doesn't have to be like that. Um, a, a good way to simplify this, I'm not just talking about Valdosta. I don't know if you're aware Lyons County had a spill, so did Whitman. Most people don't know that because neither of them announced that to the public. The way I know is I asked the Georgia Environmental Protection Division. After many, many months, I finally found somebody. I asked her, she sends me the whole list of the whole state. Okay? I've got that list in the spreadsheet. They could just publish it online. I don't know why I have to do that. They could do it just as easily. Florida already does that. Alabama already does that. And both Florida and Alabama, you can sign up for email alerts. So when there's a spill, you get email. So you know. This would avoid this, this whole rigor roll of every time trying to find out who spilled, when, how much, how many locations. And um, 27 organizations in Georgia and Florida have already signed on to a resolution to that effect. This is just one sheet of the signatures. I'm hoping that the city of Valdosta will entertain also signing on to it. Uh, there is some progress on it already. Uh, Georgia EPD Director Dick Nunn says it's an interesting idea. They're looking into it. I also hear from the people who actually compose that spreadsheet that, yes, they're considering it. But until I see these reports here daily on the Georgia EPD website, I'm still going to be asking for signatures. And I, I, I bet the EPD will listen to the city of Valdosta a lot more than they listen to me. So I hope you'll think about signing this thing. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We report every spill. You know, we. This Beckman right there, you're, you're through, but I'm just telling you that um, <laughs> we, we report every spill, so it's there for you fine. Thank you, sir. And if that is, I found out. That's good. All right. Are there any other, uh, anyone else who would like to come forward and speak? George Bob. 